Today, I have a massive announcement for you. This is my brand new Bronco Raptor. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything that is going on with this Bronco Raptor. Why did I decide to get rid of my Bronco Badlands that has got so much custom work to it? And really, at the end of the day, what was the leading decision to make this change over to the Bronco Raptor? And that is coming up in this video. Hey guys, before we go any further, I have to let you know this is the last week to win this Super Duty in $10,000 in cash. Make sure you go to tccustoms.com right now. Every dollar spent gets you a chance to win, and we're running 20 times entries right now, which is our highest multiplier ever. So make sure you head over to tccustoms.com. Anything you purchase gets you entered to win. Now guys, I wanna say a huge thank you to every single person that has supported us so far in the giveaway that we're doing. It allows me to basically play with fun Broncos just like this one. And I just wanna say a huge thank you again to every single person, every single company that has helped make that Bronco so unique. In this video, I'm also going to talk about some of the things that is the way this vehicle is actually equipped. Uh, some of the things that it does and does not have and why I like this spec so much. So the first things first, let's talk about the obvious and that is going to be these massive fender flares. So if you don't know, the Bronco Raptor is the most capable factory OEM equipped Bronco you can get. Probably one of the most capable SUVs in the entire industry that you can get from the OEM. Now the good news is, is having it on a black vehicle, it really does subdue that significantly. Now the beautiful thing is, is that for 2024, Ford is giving you the opportunity to have color matched fender flares. I think that's fantastic. But please understand that this is not the detailed review. We've actually got that video and I'll link that up there for you if you wanna take a look at it. But anyways, the Bronco Raptor not only gets the unique fenders with the heat extractors up here in the fenders, but you also pick up the unique hood as well. This hood also comes with heat extractors built into it. And the reason for that is because of the grill. The grill on this Bronco Raptor has got a lot more airflow. The reason they do that is to allow more air in for the bigger engine, the 3.0 V6 twin turbo. And if you let a lot more air in, it's gotta go somewhere. And that's where it comes out of the hood and the fenders as well. So one thing you're gonna notice about the bumper on the Bronco Raptor, it is the exact same bumper that you get with the bumper on the Ford Bronco Badlands. But there's a big, big difference. And this part I cannot stand is the fact that you've got this beautiful blacked out vehicle, grayed out, blacked out, it just looks great. And then you've got this big old shiny front bumper in the center as well as the skid plate. Now I've got a couple of ideas to fix that, but you're gonna have to stay tuned if you wanna see what that process looks like. Now the tires and the wheels on this truck is 37 inch tires from the factory. This is the largest tire you can get on an SUV in the entire world from the OEM factory. And one of the ways that they do that is with the Fox Live Valve Shock technology. If you don't know what Live Valve is, it works like this. You hit a jump, it can automatically live time tell that, hey, I'm in the air, stiffen up the dampers, makes it for a better landing. Or if you're on the interstate, it knows instantly and automatically, hey, I'm on the interstate. I can probably loosen up the dampers a little bit. And the best part is you've got controls for that in the steering wheel as well. So you've got controls for the dampening of the suspension, you've got controls for the steering and how soft it feels or how stiff it feels. You've even got customization for the exhaust system and you can tune that as well. Now the other thing with the Bronco Raptor is you do have rock rails that are located all the way down the vehicle. Now what's unique about this one is it has got an upgraded step that's integrated into that rock rail. And so it's really nice if you're vertically challenged like Colton. <laughs> but it is really nice to get in and out of the vehicle. Now, I'm gonna show you something that I noticed on this 23 model that I don't have on my 21, and that is going to be these windows. Now, I've had a couple of people on the forums that, um, that oh yeah, you open the door, and the problem is, is did you see that window flopping? Watch it, watch, let's watch that again. Watch this window. You see how that window's flopping? That's not a good design. So you know what Ford picked up for the 23 model year is that when you hit the unlock button, watch what happens to the windows. No more flippy floppy. Now moving around to the back side of the vehicle, you will see that even the rear quarter panel is completely different. The gas door had to be completely adjusted because 
you know what? You've got a bigger fender flare and that fender flare is designed to cover the tire completely. Uh, let me know down below, what do you think should be the end goal as far as the tire size and lift size and all of that kind of stuff? I wanna know what you think down below. Now, the other cool part about the Bronco Raptor is on the tail lights themselves as well. You'll notice that because you got this gigantic fender flare, there's no place to put the blind spot information system radar. And so what Ford has done is they've integrated that radar system into the tail light as well, compared to in the previous generation of the Bronco, they were located here inside of this rear quarter panel, almost into that rear panel as well. So it's kind of neat to see that they've integrated that into the tail light. You know, as you guys know that we are a rock slide engineering dealer. Uh, we've been running their products for many, many years. And this is the first modification that I've added to this vehicle. And this is the easy rack system that shameless plug you can get on tccustoms.com and a purchase on that website for even, you know, not just the merchandise, but also the parts also get you entered to win that super duty right there. So just kind of keep that in mind, but it's really nice because the easy rack system, you can do anything from roto packs, uh, where you can put a, a fresh thing of water or fuel in here, or you can even have you know a, a set of tools that are hanging off of there. And the best part is it's all held on together with a ratchet strap, so that way you don't have to keep that setup on 24 seven. You can just take it off and put it on as you need or as you go camping, that kind of thing. So I think that's kind of cool. So now I wanna show you a couple of things on the inside because that is one of the biggest upgrades on this vehicle. I lied, before we jump inside, I wanna show you a neat little feature about the Bronco Raptor. Because this vehicle is so wide, you have to have extra illumination. That's the reason you've got the three amber lights in the grill, but as well as you've also got the amber lights that are integrated into the side mirrors as well. So taking a look on the inside, the first thing I'm gonna show you uh, is another modification by Rockslide Engineering. You've got the front door pockets. Now the only, uh, this, this is really a great modification so you can kind of keep your candy bar wrappers. Y'all think that I got to this body by sitting at the gym all the time? No, sir. That is a the thing I love about this steering wheel is how thick it is. I mean, I'm six foot three. I'm a taller guy, so I got some really big hands, but it fits perfectly. It's definitely premium, and I love how soft that leather is. It's, uh, but what I love about this steering wheel is a couple of different things. The bolstering, I also love the paddle shifters. That's really cool. And here's another fun fact about the Bronco Raptor is you've got a Raptor mode. This little R button located here on the steering wheel, when you tap it once, it checks it and says, hey, press it again if you want to enter the mode and you might or might not have been able to tell but it actually adjusts all of the settings that I have on this particular vehicle so for me specifically I've got the goat mode set up to normal the comfort mode for the steering wheel normal for the suspension and I've got it in Baja mode for the actual exhaust system because I'm a little redneck I like, I like I'm not a real little redneck I'm a big redneck <laughs> but I, I'm a redneck. I like the sound of the exhaust. Now, a couple of other features that I love about the Bronco Raptor over the normal Badlands is going to be this dashboard. The thing I love about this dashboard is the double stitching on the dashboard. It's got like a softer touch to it. Um, this looks like something you would find out of a vehicle that had the leather upgrades, but this vehicle does not have the leather upgrades. This has actually got the marine grade vinyl seats. Uh, you guys know I'm a massive fan of the marine grade vinyl. Love the marine grade vinyl in my Bronco Badlands, but uh, man, the Raptor takes it to another level with a little bit more of the bolstering, um, and I think it just fits me perfectly. So you still wash it out, but it is such a comfortable setup. I mean, one thing I absolutely hate about this Bronco Raptor, uh, you've already heard the one, which is that silver looking front bumper. But the other thing is, is the dadgum dashboard. You've got this beautiful blacked out vehicle and then you've got this random but silver looking dashboard. Why would they not give us the ability to have that match the rest of the interior? I guess they're trying to tie it into the front bumper. I'm not quite sure, but I would significantly, uh, you know, really appreciate a blacked out vehicle all the way through. Now, another thing that I love about the Raptor is going to be the 12 inch LCD screen. So this massive screen in here gives you some really cool animations as you cut the vehicle off and as you cut the vehicle back on. I mean, really the screens in this vehicle are fantastic. In the back seat, there's not a whole lot that has changed between a normal Bronco and a Bronco Raptor with the one 
one massive exception, and that is going to be this bar up here. So, but that is an actual bracing that is placed in between the driver and the rear uh, passenger seats. And the reason they do that is to stiffen up the chassis. Why am I even bringing all of this up? Because that is what sold me on the Bronco Raptor. Now, keep in mind, there's also another bracing in the rear that takes care of that rear part of the roll bar, even though I'm not legally supposed to call it a roll bar. Um, you know, that, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> so I don't know what else to say. But yeah, it is nice to know that you've got the extra bracing up top. And speaking of bracing, that is not the only bracing on the vehicle. The entire frame of this vehicle is completely different. That's why the body code on this Bronco Raptor is different than a normal Bronco. This is an E5J body code, whereas something like a, a Bronco Badlands, mine was an E5D. That tells you right there, the entire frame is different. The entire body is different. It is a completely different vehicle. It's not just a Bronco that they put some crazy suspension on. Let's go flex this thing out. All right, so as we come up to this mound here, it'll give you an idea of what the truck can do flexing wise. The beautiful thing about the Bronco Raptor is you also happen to have a high speed, desert running capable suspension system. But in addition to that, you also happen to have the stabilizer bar disconnect that allows you to get more suspension articulation. As you can see, this thing has got an unbelievable amount of suspension articulation. Look how far down this tire has dropped down. It's almost completely out of the wheel well. You don't see that very often with an OEM factory vehicle, but this is a great opportunity to come in and take a look at the live valve suspension system. You can see the modules, you can see the wiring going in for it. This is a much better look at why it does create some problems with being able to customize the suspension on this vehicle. Because if you just unplugged this entire strut out of here and plugged a different one in, the problem you're going to have is the truck is going to think something's wrong and it's going to go into limp mode. Now there's a couple of companies that make bypass modules for these, but realistically, why would you throw away a shock absorber that is this high end on a Raptor just like this one? Now, uh, while we're here, this is also a great opportunity to look at a couple of different things. The skid plates that you get on the Bronco Raptor, but as well as the exhaust system. As an OEM factory vehicle, you can see you've even got the different valves to adjust the exhaust system while you're driving down the road. Now, in full disclosure, I don't notice much of a difference unless I'm actually on the interstate, uh, you know, doing, you know, 75, 80 miles an hour and it's under load, you can hear a little bit of a difference. Uh, but, you know, riding around town, you don't hear a whole lot of difference. Uh, but yeah, maybe that's something we need to consider as well as opening that exhaust system up even more. Now let's talk about one of the biggest reasons I upgraded from my normal Bronco Badlands to the Bronco Raptor. This 3.0 V6 twin turbocharged. Now this thing makes about 100 more horsepower than my previous version of the Bronco. But then again, keep in mind my 2.7 had the Roush uh, power pack upgrade, which was fantastic. Well, engine, uh, excuse me, Colton, can I help you? It, I just wanted to see it. It looks really neat. It <laughs> <laughs> so this particular engine is featuring a CGI block, a compacted graphite iron block, which means that it is the same kind of block technology that is found in a Super Duty, the same Super Duty that we're actually giving away. So it's pretty cool that, to know that you can run a, an extreme amount of boost on these things and uh, it actually likes it. So it's a pretty cool little setup. So with that being said, let me know down in the comments, do you think this was a great decision to swap out my 21 Bronco Badlands for this one? Let me know down in the comments below, because I'm not gonna lie, uh, I, you know, going to this vehicle outside of my Bronco Badlands, it feels a little strange to me because that Bronco Badlands really got us to where we are. It's got a lot of sentimental value. I've got a lot of great partners that helped us build that vehicle, but I just really, at the end of the day, I felt like it was time to start a new build. And I just, I'm so blessed to be able to share cool cars with you guys. And I'm just so excited to have you along for the ride. Guys, let me know down in the comments below if you think this was a good decision or one of the stupidest decisions I've ever made. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Peace.